What's going on DIYers? So my wife talked me or kind of guilt tripped me into going down and doing this super on the fly project. We have really by the time we get stuff and we get everything, we get all the materials and we drive down to the location, we'll have about an hour before it gets dark. So this is like the one hour challenge of how we're going to build some sort of rail system to where my mother-in-law will be safe walking up and down the stairs without falling because she recently fell and hurt herself and it's so because falls are devastating the older we get we want her to be safe so i don't have any plan i'm going to just go down there and wing it talk to one of the lowest reps see what the best option is we're going to get the material we're going to go down there and we are going to build it out and get it done so stay tuned check it out This project is completely out of my realm, but like anybody who's trying to get a project improv do like this, I heckled the Lowe's reps and they gave me some advice on what they would do, so I took it. Grabbed all my tools, got what I think I need. I've never done any sort of masonry work or any sort of rail system like this before, but we're gonna go and try and fix up this beat up trailer and give it a little bit of spit shine and help out so it's more safe. I figure out a thing to do there and then here, which is vastly more challenging because of all the crap in the way. But one way or another, we'll figure it out. We'll get it going. But this is a challenge. All right, so after much contemplation with the Lowe's rep, we decided that this was the fastest most economical and probably the longest lasting rail system if we can get it going correctly. I bought four tubes plus a set of attachments and one smaller tube. I have a mock-up in my head of what I want to do, but I don't know if it'll work, I guess we'll see. So the plan is to get these with these, mount them to the side of the concrete stairs, and these will go over this like so, which we will then tighten down. I think I'm gonna come like this. You're like three bucks at Lowe's. This galvanized pole is surprisingly expensive. I don't know if it's just up cost because of everything's really expensive now. Somehow we're gonna link it all together with this, this, and then this big pole right here. We'll be doing that too. Right there's a pretty, right here is a pretty good area. I think you held on right here, it's fine. Yeah. Right here. So, fun fact, the guy at Lowe's told me to get this bit. Um, ended up being too big, and you really need a one-fourth bit to step down that, and I know that because I used a one-fourth uh, metal bit to get this in here. absolutely smoked that bit it's done I used it as much as I could actually got four holes would you believe it seized out in the fifth and kind of killed over but hey I think it didn't you know my wife's in, in town getting a new one right now I'm doing this though and we might as well get the other preliminary parts done is we have this ring and we have we got that bag of hardware and this will be attaching inside that and it'll actually be making a pull capping this off here they actually had smaller stuff but it was like only two bucks less a pole, and that's like abysmal. Loose the beginning. That really does straighten out that pole. So. All right. All right, so useful things I can do while waiting for the drill bits. 
dig up this hole to put the one stud in. in it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and fill this in, I think. Amazing what the right bit will do. Had some other ones that are smaller so we're using smaller ones but we're gonna get it in there oh yeah those going nice man those are way easier way more painstakingly easy let me go in here okay done thank heaven there you go All right, so despite the serious delay in having to go in town and find a place that had a drill bit for masonry, it's working out pretty well. All we have to do now is connect this last rail. To secure the rails inside those little couplers, we're just gonna go ahead and mount one set screw, just a random one we have, and that will finish this project, and that will make this thing pretty solid. And if it doesn't, then we're gonna have to come back and pour cement around it. But that doesn't take very long. Burning. All right, so it wasn't terrible. We only had one real hiccup, which was the Lowe's rep gave me the wrong bit size. But what was funny, my wife went back into like the town she went into like the DIY, the do-it-yourself center or whatever, the hardware center, and asked the gentleman there for the same size bit, and he argued with her that you need that exact same size bit. I had to get on the phone and be like, no, I need a one-fourth bit for a 5 16th inch uh, masonry screw. Sell her that, and then he kind of tried to argue with me. So I guess it's like maybe a common trend, like they were thinking of some other screw, but we gave him the screw to look at, and so I don't know if it's just a lack of knowledge unilaterally, but that was, it's interesting that they both came to that same conclusion thinking it was that. So it's not, so be cautious if you're gonna do this, be very cautious of that. These screws require a size down. You get 5 16ths, you need a 1 4th bit. You get a 1 4th screw, you need a 3 16th inch bit, etc. Where the Lowe's reps were absolutely right was that was the fastest way to do it. Like if we didn't have the bit delay, we would have got that thing done in an hour or less. It was very quick. We only had to make four cuts. Thank heaven I had that big bandsaw. That bandsaw, I mean, those pipes, they chewed my blade up real quick. I mean, I've, I've cut mounds and mounds of aluminum with that blade and then just those four pipes did my blade and my blade has no teeth. None, it's done. I think I messed up the one, one fourth inch masonry drill bit that I had. So I'm pretty sure they last longer than that. So, I mean, I think I burnt out the drill bit. I either pressed too hard or went too fast, one of the two, but uh, I didn't get yeah, that drill bits done. And then the other drill bits, those are my hard steel drill bits. Those are done, and that sucks. I have to, I have to like special order those, and God, they're so much more expensive when you special order them versus buying the whole kit and not screwing them up, so. Anyways, mission success. The mother-in-law doesn't know that we even did that. She thinks we're gonna do it. We told her we didn't. So when she goes home, she'll just like see it. And who knows what her reaction is, but I hope it's it's uh, at least somewhat thankful. She's not really good at 
saying thank you. Like, like ever. To me, at least. Anyways, stay tuned for more videos. They're coming up. Thank you all for subscribing recently and coming on. Check me out on patreon.com slash tvnation. If you want to help out funding and supporting projects like this and getting extra perks and videos and content in the mix, thank you much. I'll see you guys out there.